Hi and welcome back to my tutorial. Uh, this is my second tutorial and I'm going to show you how you can edit objects in 3ds Max. By the way, I'm using 3ds Max 8 for this tutorial. Okay, I'm just going to make my uh, scene bigger by pressing Alt and W. Uh, click on the box option. Uh, basically just rotate a bit and create my box like so. Okay. Uh, now, basically, if I want, I can basically go to front view by pressing F, go to top view by pressing T, or go to left view by pressing L. You can also go to different views by pressing V on your keyboard, and then it will bring up a menu here. And you can go to front, back, top, bottom, left, right, and or whatever you want. Uh, you can basically just click on it. I'm just going to go to right view now. And basically, as you can see here, over here it says right. So it, it means I'm in my uh, right view. But I'm just going to press P to go to perspective view. Like this. Cool. So I'm just going to go to my modify panel again. As you can see, if you just put your mouse over it, it says modify. I'm just going to go to my modify panel. And here it says box. You can also get to your... Uh, Modify a panel by just right clicking on your object, convert to editable poly or editable mesh or any of these. Uh, I usually use editable poly. So, as, as you can see right now, I've got box here. And um, I can add a editable poly modifier to this by uh, going to my modifier list and find editable poly. I'm just going to press it. E on my keyboard, and it will find uh, the options, the uh, modifiers that start with E. And I'm going to choose editable, Edit Poly. And as you can see here, it says Edit Poly. Now I'm going to create another box just to show you how the Editable Poly works if you just convert to Editable Poly. Uh, so in here, I'm, I'm going to right click on it, Convert to Editable Poly. Now, as you can see, I don't have my box option here anymore. As you can see, on this one, I have my box option, but on this one, I don't. So, uh, they, they they both have their own a they they have both um, oh they both have their own advantages. With this one, I usually work like this unless I have to con uh, convert my object to editable poly. So over here, you, you can basically select any of, of these options. Oh, by the way, uh, you can actually realize that when you've got box and your Ezra Poly here, uh, you get this extra box over here, but in, in this one you don't. So I'm just going to use this one because I think it's easier, like, uh, especially when you want to add uh, more modifiers to later on, such as Mesh Smooth and stuff like that. So basically here, you can select any of these options. Vertex, Edge, uh, Border, Polygon, and Element. I'm going to select uh, Polygon for now. And now that I've, when I select on it, it will have a yellow box around it, uh, which basically shows that I've got my, ed uh, my Polygon selected. So I can basically click on any of these Polygons, uh, any of them, no matter which one, and basically move them around like so. I can move them up and down. Or if I want, uh, I can press uh, E on my keyboard and rotate the polygon. I'm just going to press F4 on my keyboard so I, you can see the, uh, uh, the wireframe. It's not wireframe actually, it's just the wires really. Um, uh, just you can basically rotate it, or you, if you want, you can press R on your keyboard and basically scale it up and down. If you scale it, uh, if you drag the middle, let me just, oops, right. Yeah, I'm sorry about this because I've been using Maya for a long time now, and I've come back to Max, and it's kind of like confusing. So basically, I, I press uh, Z just to zoom in to that frame. Uh, basically, if you click on the middle triangle, and if you click and drag your left mouse button on that, it will uh, scale it really nicely. But if you just want to scale it in the uh, Z-axis, you can just click on the blue line 
uh, which the one with a Z on top of it, and basically scale it that way. Or you can do the same with X and Y. Basically, Y is kind of ro rotating it right now. Uh, there are a few important rules when you uh, try to select your move tool or your scale tool. If you select your scale tool uh, by pressing R, basically, uh, for instance, right now I press W and I have my move tool selected. Now if I press R once, I will get into my uh, scale uh, tool. But if I press, if, if you also look at this icon over here, if I press R again, it will change this and it will give me an, a, a different option to scale. We can also just uh, your left click on the icon and hold and it will drop down this menu. You, you usually need to use the first one. There are three options, but you usually need to use the first one. I usually like to use the first one too. You can also select your select tool by pressing Q on your keyboard. Uh, but when you do that, you will not be able to move, rotate, or scale your object. You will only be able to select a polygon. If you select your Q again, as you can see here, it keeps changing these. This is quite handy, actually. Uh, you, you, you will usually use the top one. You can, again, just uh, left click on it and hold, and then choose the first one. And as you can see, when I drag, is basically I get a square. But if, for instance, if I select it and select uh, this one, I will get a rounded uh, select tool. But you will usually use this one. So many people who are new to 3ds Max, uh, after they say, for instance, like edit the object like this, and then they're like, okay, now I want to select my other object. They keep selecting it, and it won't select. This is because you have your you have one of these options on here. So in order to select an uh, another object, you need to turn this off. So I'm just going to click on this, and now I can basically click on any other object I want. But if I just click on this and uh, have my polygon or a vertex or edge or any of these options selected, I will not be able to select any other objects, as you can see. You can also uh, deselect this by pressing, uh, clicking on the create option, which is uh, right next to the modify option. So when you cr uh, press this or any other of these, really, you will be able to uh, get off editable poly and basically select any object you want. Now in editable poly, you have a lot of different uh, options. Uh, I'm just going to uh, go to the vertex mode and I'm going to press Z on my keyboard to zoom, to zoom into my object. You can also uh, select a vertex and basically press Z on your keyboard and it will zoom in onto that vertex. Uh, so, um, what shrink? Well, we, we need to do grow first, then do shrink. I'm just going to hit grow now and as you can see, it has selected all the uh, other vertices around the main one. Like, I had this one selected. When I press grow, I have selected that one, that one, and that one. This is because these are all connect connected to, the, the, to, to this one. Now, if I pro press uh, grow again, it will select the ones that are 